In order for you to be successful in creating an AI automation agency, you need to understand what tools you're going to use and the capabilities of these tools. So that way you can understand what problems and processes you can automate for the business owner. That being said, I'm gonna give you a quick breakdown that cuts through all the bull crap on exactly what you need to use, all the tools, what things you need to use them for, and how I'd go about learning these platforms. Let's get into it. So we're back in our AI automation agency masterclass ebook. And by the way, link in the description if you want this. We're gonna to go to technical understanding and here's the breakdown. Here's, I made it very simple. So there's what we call integration tools, integration software. These help you integrate between different apps, different software and connect them to make a automation. So we have Zapier, N-A-N, um, Make and Public. If you're a beginner and you, you got money to spend, I'd suggest Zapier, right? They only, they only give you on the free plan five zaps, so I, I like it, but I'm not the biggest fan of it. And when you start to get to more complicated solutions, more complicated automation you're trying to make, it, get, it gets a little confusing. In my opinion, if you're looking at doing this over a long period of time, you, you really want to expand this AI automation agency, which I plan on doing, I'd go with Make, right? Because again, it's more complicated to learn, but you could do more complicated automations, which means you can have more data processing and you get a thousand automations on the free plan. So. If you're starting out, yes, it'll take you longer to learn, but over a certain period of time, I think it's actually better for you to, to learn the Make platform. So that's my opinion on integration software. You can do what you want, have a look at them for yourself. That's just my thoughts. Now, if you want an all-in-one platform to actually manage your agency and organize everything, Go High Level is the absolute best. There are others out there, but for me, Go High Level is the best. You, can, you manage everything. You can also eventually create a a customized CRM that you can white label for your customers and it's perfect for me. Do the whole creating your app thing with Bubble as well. To be honest with you, I haven't tried that platform, but I've heard some good things about it. Now, some other tools that are very effective is uh, web scraping, right? There's a bunch of them. I've got Bardeen here, but there's a bunch of no code web scraping tools. Web scraping is going to be very effective later on when you want to reach out to people to gather leads and everything and also instantly. It's an email marketing platform. I'm not going to go too much detail on these. Web scraping and instantly aren't too important for your technical understanding but I've just put them there as a resource. So in my opinion to get a good understanding of what's possible with automations and what problems you can solve for businesses, I'd master make or Zapier. So learn them, become very good at them, spend some time using those platforms. Here's how I'll go about getting a good understanding of these platforms as quickly as possible. So first I'd research. So let's say we're doing make. I'd research everything I can on the make platform. I'd watch tutorials, YouTube videos, read all the documentation. This shouldn't take you more than a few hours to get a good understanding of actually what's possible with this with make and in this document i'm going to provide some very effective documents that i found and i'm also going to make tutorials of myself in the future that's why it's important you download this ebook because there's a lot of value here and i'm constantly updating and constantly improving it after you spent a few hours watching tutorials or reading the copy in your documents it's time to practice so if i'm watching a youtube video what i like to do is follow the exact step-by-step -step tutorial create exactly what they're creating because you're learning a lot from that then after i do that i'll write down okay what did i do wrong where did i have issues what hiccups did I have, and I will search up how I can actually solve those problems. And from there, I'd restart the whole process. So it's, you watch for a few hours, practice immediately. Try practicing as quickly as possible. The way you're gonna learn the capabilities of this platform is by practicing. You can watch as many videos as you want, but you need to practice. So I'd say, watch one tutorial, practice that tutorial, take notes on that tutorial, and then practice again. Keep practicing. The more time you spend practicing, the quicker you can learn. That's exactly what I do. Don't overcomplicate it. Get two platforms, one or two, maybe even three platforms max that you want to get good at and spend a few hours looking at YouTube videos or maybe even half an hour to an hour looking at YouTube tutorials. Follow that exact tutorial and then review your progress and then do the exact same thing. Bang, 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 bang. Don't overcomplicate it. This shouldn't take you more than honestly 10 to 20 hours to get a really, really good understanding of what's possible with these no code tools. Next, I'm gonna talk about what I'm doing to find a niche and how I'm simplifying the process. People are complicating it. It seems like such a daunting thing, but I've made the whole thing very simple for you. I've actually given a step-by-step -step guide. That's exactly what I'm gonna cover in the next video. That's enough from me, over and